Hello once again. Today we're going to discuss this uh, DC to DC converter step up uh, type. Uh, we already finished uh, discussing the step down. So here we are now in the step up. So the step up uh, is being implemented using the boost converter configuration circuit. So how it how this one work? You have a 12 for example you have a 12 volts you have an inductor, you have again a fast acting switch, a fast diode, and a capacitor. So how this one work? For example, in the closed state, during your close uh, on action of your switch, your uh, inductor is being charged from here, going to your switch, and observe the polar polarity of that. You have plus here and minus here. And during your uh, open state or off state, your inductor will uh, reverse the polarity. Here, the polarity of your inductor becomes negative here and plus here. Here, on the on state, uh, your plus is here and your minus is here. And now, here, when your switch is open, your plus will be here and then your minus will be here. So, what will happen? What uh, ever. Uh, whatever energy that is being charged to this inductor will become in series with your supply here with these 12 volts you have plus here so what will happen this one will become in series and then it will go to your diode and to your capacitor and charging cap your capacitor so what is the result that the uh, voltage of this one will be become higher compared to your supply voltage because you are adding your inductor energy and the supply which is 12 volts so expect an output of this one would be higher than 12 volts so it would be higher than 12 volts okay now let's go back again to the MC 3.063A uh, chip so this is a fast acting switch that has the regulation and it uh, you have this uh, 1.5 25 uh, voltage regulation so this is the uh, step up or boost configuration so observe now here you have the diode here going this is fast acting diode 1 in 5819 we don't have this one I'm using other type 1 in per 148 so you have this diode here connected to your one and to your capacitor uh, you have an inductor 170 microhenry. Uh, what we have here is 220 microhenry, so we'll just use 120 microhenry. And then our uh, resistance here is 0.22. So we will build the circuit now, and then we will going to see how it works. Okay, this is now our circuit. So this one uh, derived from the step down configuration I just rearrange it uh, the components of this one also mostly from the step down so we're using the inductor that is uh, compatible with the step down but anyway we will use it we don't have that uh, inductor so this is the circuit now okay we will focus now on the okay it, this is our setup now. We have the the scope and our uh, multimeter. So what we have now reading in our multimeter is 11.4. That come from our power supply, which is a battery that is 12 volts. So expect that uh, when it pass through the circuit, then it will have an 11.42 uh, volts. So we don't have activity now on the on our inductor because uh, we are still not uh, increasing. In, uh, increasing the feedback of the of the chip so I will try to increase the voltage now by manipulating the feedback of the of the MC34063 chip so here is my is the potentiometer so expect when I rotate this one we will have increase of all voltage now so look at that Okay, and by the way, our load is once again 
it is uh, 30 milliamps uh, it is a 390 ohm it is a 390 ohm 10 watts resistor so at 390 ohm we expect our circuit will draw about 30 milliamps of current so we will increase the voltage now I'm okay look at that I'm uh, increasing it slowly so I want to have an output voltage of about 13 volts make it 13 okay this is it so say uh, look at the output voltage uh, there's, a, there's some ripple in it yeah that's because of our regulation uh, we're using only a potentiometer for this one so maybe that affect the length of the wire because it's supposed to be if you are going to put this one in the circuit you are going to uh, We are we are going to use uh, the shortest road so here we, we 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 are not able to attend that one we are using a long wire for our feedback so look at the activity of the inductor now it is trying to it is pulsing the inductor but not uh, at constant rate because it's just uh, trying to balance what is the what is the requirement of the circuit now the circuit requires only 13.4 volts so it's trying to regulate that one so we'll increase the voltage now let us see what is the activity of the inductor now let's see so the output our output is above above our supply voltage which is 12 volts now we can achieve an output of higher than that higher than 12 volts so now we have 15 we'll try to increase how much we can increase using this 390 ohm uh, load resistor we'll try to increase we see look at that when it is at 25 volts look at the activity of the inductor and then let us check the frequency of this our frequency is dependent on what is our uh, capacitor, timing capacitor used. Oh, wait. I think it's smelling. Okay, we'll reduce it down because our inductor cannot cope up with that. It's smelling.